Welcome back to my channel War Paint. I am Tara Michelle. I'm excited to bring you this tutorial today using the Mega Pro palette. Why I'm excited is because I've discovered some colors in there that I hadn't really used yet when coming up with this look for you guys and I like seriously came up with like six different looks and had to narrow it down to one but I ended up doing a lilac look and I really like it. I think it's beautiful for daytime and you can definitely take it to evening with a nice winged liner. The other exciting part to this tutorial is it is in collaboration with my good friends Emily and Laura. So that's Emily from Lesette's Beauty, Laura from Mrs. Lola Lynn. They do fantastic tutorials. I've seen the looks that they've done. They're going to be just stunning. I can't wait to watch their videos. Um, we came up with the idea to do a collaboration using the Mega Pro, but you don't necessarily have to have the Mega Pro because we all did three unique looks and you may already have shadows like that in your collection. So if you're over from Laura or Emily's channel, welcome. Make yourselves at home. And if you're from my channel, please go check out Laura and Emily's video. They're going to be gorgeous tutorials. They're just pros at tutorials. I love watching them. I've watched them since before I even started YouTube and I literally would be sitting at my computer like, wow, I want them to do my makeup. They're incredible. So I know you guys are going to love it. Just go over to the channel and hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed to them already. They're great girls. They're wonderful. They have good hearts. They're just lovely and it was so much fun collaborating with them. So if you're interested in how I got the lilac look with the Lorac Mega Pro palette, just stay tuned. Okay, so we're going to start out with the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. This primer is a kind of like a nude color and it goes on relatively thin. So it really gives kind of a light coverage but really does work on making your shadow stay. So I'm going to put that all over the top of my lid and then underneath the bottom of my lash line. So what I've come to find when using the shadow lilac is that it is less pigmented when I'm using the Lorac behind the scenes primer. So I like to pop a little bit of NYX Milk on my lid just to really add some brightness to the color and really bring out its pigmentation. So I just put that on the lid and then I blend it upwards towards the brow bone and just kind of get it all over the lid. So as you can see, you can apply this really messy, but it really blends out easily if you're using your ring finger and you just kind of tap on it and blend it upwards. So now I'm going to go in with lilac and I'm only going to take it from the brush over. I'm going to leave the inner corner part of my eye blank and leave it nice and tacky with that milk because I'm going to put an inner corner shimmer there, but it's not going to just be on the tear duct, so you will see. But when you're applying it, I'm only going to apply it to the outer portion of the eye and then I'm going to actually take it up all the way into my crease all the way up near my brow bone so that when I add my crease color it blends nice and softly over the milk. There it is with just the lilac on the eye and I just use this flat shader brush from Ego Tools and I'm going to go in with this fluffy crease brush from Soho. It's just a nice flat angled brush and that really gives like a lighter look to the crease. I don't really want a deep look because this is more of a daytime look but it can be transferred into a glamorous evening look if you want to apply a nice winged liner. But today I'm just going to keep it soft and kind of just give definition to the eye but not necessarily try to create a crease with my hooded lids. Wisteria is just simply deepening up a little bit of the crease but not going too heavy handed on it and it's just adding a slight definition to the eye. I'm going to slightly highlight the brow bone and I'm just going to use cream for this because I don't want it to be shimmery because there's going to be a lot of pizzazz in our inner corner and we don't want to go overboard. So here comes the fun part. Using one of my favorite shadows from this palette, Cashmere, I'm going to go ahead and wet my brush. I have a MAC 239 here and I'm just going to wet it with MAC Fix Plus kind of dampen that up and that's going to really define the shimmer and really just bring it out. Otherwise I found working with the shadow that it can be kind of chalky but if you take time and work with it it's just one of the most beautiful colors I think in the palette. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that to that blank spot that we left on our inner corner and I will show you how I do that. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and dip it into the cashmere and then I'm going to take it on the inner corner and kind of press it there 
and get the shape that I want. So I'm kind of like filling it in like a triangle and really pressing it in so you can start to see the shimmer showing up. But what I'm going to do is press with some pressure and then lighten the pressure and brush it over the rest of the bottom part of the lid so that the shimmer kind of disperses over that so it doesn't look like we just placed a whole bunch of shimmer into one spot so it kind of fades evenly. Okay, so for my inner corner, what I've been doing since I have all these colors available to me, for my very tear duct inner corner, I've been using white, opal, and vanilla. And it just adds nice brightness to that inner corner. And I just put that right on the inside of my eye just to really brighten things up and kind of blend it up in to that cashmere. And then I kind of bring it down underneath just a tad. And then on the bottom lash line, I'm gonna go ahead and put Wisteria in there with a smudge brush. Again, you wanna tap that off because it is one of the chalkier colors. Okay, so that is it for our shadows. Now what I like to do to keep this look really daytime and fresh is Highline my waterline and I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour gel liner in black is black and I just tight line my upper waterline and my lower waterline just to kind of open my eyes and give definition to the look and then I'm going to top it off with my Holy Grail mascara. You guys are going to be amazed when you see the results of having one side done and one not so I can't wait to show you. I went ahead and tight lined off camera because I recently sprained my wrist and don't need that kind of mess in this video okay so I'm gonna curl my lashes and then we're gonna go in with the Lorac Pro mascara which is my homegirl mascara you guys I'm gonna do one side and then the other you're gonna see this huge difference and you're gonna want to go out and get it so the, the wand on this is kind of intimidating looking but it's it's really not it's super soft and just lovely There's just a couple strokes. Look at that. I mean, I, come on. So the blush I've chosen for this look is Dandelion from Benefit. It really pairs well with the lilac and it gives life to the cheeks. So the lip I've chosen for this look is Max cream sheen and pure zen. I really just like the way it pulls the look together. It's a nice nude and doesn't take away from the gorgeousness of your eyes. So I really like that one and I highly recommend this particular MAC lipstick because I think it's just really versatile and would look beautiful on many skin tones. So that completes the look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if you like this way of tutorial where I talk through or you like voiceover. The last one I did was a voiceover. This one was a talk through. So just let me know so I can keep that in mind when I'm making my tutorials in the future. And if you are new, you can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. I'm over there on a daily basis. So if I'm not putting out a video, maybe you'll see my on Instagram. And I would just love to have you following me over there as well. Thumbs up this video if you liked it and found it helpful and I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. I will see you tomorrow in my BFFs and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Warpaint. I'm Tara Michelle. If you guys are over